Hey guys, what's going on, Jake here? So I am recording over my intro for once. Um, but yeah, basically, today is my Rivals Grind Day, and all I can say is, chips for days, qualifying for foot champs, and we don't take no L's. Absolutely no L's, but as you can see here, no no getting into this first game um, of the day. I think we played about five games today. We won them all. We won them all, and we scored some absolute bangers. For the first three games, guys, I have clips showing every goal. I tried to throw that to Bellerin, but it ends up being locked onto my right centre-back when I wanted him to throw it even further. But yeah, Richardson scores there. This guy skips the replay, but then I'm like, we ain't having that, Fatty, are we? Boom, Fatty doing what he does best, as you can see. Just gliding past players. He's one of the best players I've used this year, and you will see his record later on. It is mental, but cutting inside, finesse shot, bang, bang, bish, bash, bosh. Absolutely beautiful. And, yeah, you can tell that we go ahead and score again after going 1-0 down because um, he's showing the exact same goal again. <laughs> that can only mean one thing. Kick-off goal time. 2.0. Uh, but, yeah, this guy, nice try. I, I'm just a king at agile dribbling, and I'm also decent at defending. I don't rely on AI manual blocks. I like to get in there myself and block it. Um, I'm also decent at jockeying. I like to cut off passing. I'm not a great defender. I can see quite a few goals. But, yeah, good win back from the soul. So, Playing through the team straight into the attack. Rodrigo looking to play Ansu. And he has... Oh, we haven't won it. But Ansu's going to get a second chance here. Lucky to get the ball back. But he's in. And it's a clinical finish from Ansu. Can you tell I'm actually really hyped up? And yeah. Because it is a weekend. By the way, guys. We are going to be playing Arrivals for an hour tomorrow. And career mode for two hours. Probably not even going to play any games other than the Man City one and the career mode. But I'm, I'm just so hyped to play FIFA at the minute. Because... Yeah, this guy rage quits after 3-1, so we take it. We take it, and so far, well, you will see, because take away three win, well, take away one win, and that was our record, and then look at the end of the episode at our record, and you will see, it's absolutely mad. I did play two squad battles games to get, to be eligible for the new icon objective, which is only alone, so it's pretty pointless, but you know what, I decided to do it anyway, and we are getting close to that foot champs qualification now. And we do end up getting it by the end of this episode. I'd just like to tell you that now. But do we go for it or not? I'm not sure. But yeah, almost at 1600 skill rating now. Out of my comfort zone. But yeah, making our way through. And right now we are 21, 4 and 17. But yeah, we just want to get straight back into gameplay after this. But yeah, 21, 4 and 17. So you can tell we had like 18, 17 and 18, 4 and 17. We're now on 21, 4 and 17. And you'll see later on in the episode how, how mad that actually gets. Have twenty minute, have a 22-minute video, guys, to edit over. So it's a lot of talking for me. But that's why we're just going to hype up these clips. Um, but I feel like it was this game. I'm not sure if it was this game or a previous game. Where, like, I was getting so many blocks. Michael was making so many saves. I feel like it was this guy, but I don't know for sure. But, yeah, poor pass out from the back. And, uh, like... <laughs> I, I did have a mini rage every now and then, but I was winning games, so I was actually having a lot of fun. But yeah, Ake is brilliant. Yuri Bachiche is just mainly there for the pace, but I don't notice him as much as Ake, who is everywhere. Which is why I want to pair him up with someone who you'll see later. Um, but yeah, Rodrigo, just using his strength to hold up the attacker. On his weaker right foot, absolutely bangs it. And I do actually look at his record later on. And I'm like, oh my god, he's actually left-footed, and I forgot. Um, so whenever I, so I was in one-on-one -on -one with a chance, I don't know if it's in this game or not, but I tried to get it onto his left foot for some reason instead of just finishing it with his right, and this guy thought that was going to be a penalty, because I did bring him down there, but no, it wasn't, but yeah, um, played out to Ake, who's going to play it to Regulon, and as you can see, we're going to make our way through the midfield. Hammers, I'm not really a big fan of. I brought Dele Alli in for like two games. He played better than Hammers has in like 12. So we're going to go with um, Ali. prefer him. Hammers is just too slow. Maybe I'm playing him in the wrong position. But good ball in. Good hold up play. And Rafinha finishes that wonderfully into the top corner. It's 2-2 now. So it's not gone great. But we're back on the attack again. And you can tell it's late. We're going to try play him in here. Bang, here we go. Wang Yi Chan. Can he fake shot around the corner? No, he's Ronaldo chopped it. Bang, 1-2 Vanzu. This is it. He's got to score. Finesse it. Oh, it was too much of a heavy touch. And now this guy might be able to come on the attack because I only clip when someone scores. So is he going to score? No, we've won the ball back. Played it into Wang. Into Rafinha. Plays it back to Wang. Wang's got the pace. Oh my God, no way. I can't, if I sweat it, oh, no, 
Oh, what a chip. Well, you know what? I'll explain the chip now because I could have sweated it back to Ansu, but the chances are he would have blocked it or I would have been tackled. And his keeper was already coming off the line, so I chipped it. And it looked like it was going to the left-hand side of the post, but it actually swerved into that bottom corner. Not the first chip I've gone with, gone for, but yeah. I don't know what to actually title this video, because it's going to be one of three things. Chips galore, we don't take no L's, or um, foot champs, qualify for foot champs, something like that. But which is the biggest? Oh, I don't know. Because those, because the chips you're gonna see in this video, guys, that was one of the best ones. No, they're not bad. They're not bad. And I'm, I'm literally playing with a team that's worth 20k. If I sold everybody that's tradable in my team, I'd get about 20, 30k. And I'm now above 1600 skill rating. And you will see later how ridiculous it goes. Because I do take a break to play on Rocket League, and then I come back and I don't take no L's. So we obviously come back and win. It's mad. It's mad. Tomorrow I'm probably not even gonna win a game, but we, but. You know, you'll see how many points we end up with. I don't think we need to play any more games, to be fair. But I will play Monday. Maybe try keeping myself in rank three, but it is going to be very difficult. Yeah, we've completed assist mastery. Assist in ten. We get a two rag old players pack. Um, so, yeah, let's go get this bad boy opened. We also get a random TFO, which I don't care about. I'll probably discard them later in the year. Um, but, yeah, let's let's see what we get from a two rag old players pack. Um, just going to open it. Probably not even going to get boards, to be fair. Um, I still don't even know how to tell if it's a board, but I do know how to tell if it's a walkout. Because you get three lines, and you look on the left-hand side, if only two um, brighten up, then that means it's a walkout. If all three do, then, it is a, then it's a rare gold, and not really anything. But yeah, let's see what we're going to get. Is it three lines? No, it's three lines, so it's not a walkout. But is it a board? Yes, it is. Portuguese left midfielder. Rafael Guerrero, not a really usable card, but it is good SBC fodder and potential links in the future. And let's see what else we get in this pack. Tomori, oh, that is a sweaty Premier League centre back, to be fair. He looks really decent, 80 pace. Not got great passing, but his dribbling and defending is really good. Rafael Guerrero, only two star weak foot, but other than that, pretty balanced stats. But yeah, let's get back into the gameplay. Um. I don't know if this is the same gameplay or not. I don't think it is. But yeah, here we go. Down the line with Rodrigo. Great. He's bullying off defenders now. And he's into his stride. Cut back. Trying to play it across. But it's a good interception. And I did check, guys. I have no double over. So this must not be a double over. Because I did make sure today. But yes, yeah, so he's coming on the attacker with Sissoko. Inaki, I, like, this guy's Inaki Williams and Fekir were really annoying me. I was way better than this guy. He was just holding the ball with Fakir. And I was trying to cut off the pass to Williams, who I absolutely hate now because of this. And I, I, when I play against his Halloween card, it's going to be torture. But yeah, Rafinha plays it across to Rodriguez. Through ball. Can he get there? Yes, he can. Ansu Fati squeezes it in at the near post. That's what Ansu does. Ansu's my guy. And now we're on the attack again. Is that Ansu? No, I've missed it. Oh, no, it's the exact same goal again. So someone must score a kickoff goal. Um, unless I've accidentally doubled up that, no, there's a pause because I'm saving the clip, alright. Um, but yeah, that Anaki Williams Halloween SBC, guys, I would do it, but it's just way too expensive at the minute. I don't have the fodder for it either. I probably have to spend like 60k on it, and I can't, I can't, I just don't have the coins. Um, but he only has two star weak foot, but he does have four star skills, and if you get the one with the improved dribbling, which is the one I recommend, give him a hunter, and he's probably one of the best strikers you can get. Great laugh for Rodrigo, and a great finish. We are now 2-1 up. And as you can see, this guy's just made it 2-2. So what are we going to have to do? We're going to have to score another kickoff goal. Because you know we love kickoff goals, obviously, on the channel. We love a bit of kickoff goal madness. Oh, wait. He's won the ball back. Oh, dear. That's, that's never good. <laughs> uh, that's never good. But good interception from Ake. And he's still got the ball. Just give me the ball back, please. Thank you very much. Now, let's get back onto the attack. Oh, that's poor, but we've won it back, though. Ansu Fati, he's going to look for a great ball to Rodrigo, but I've tried to get it onto his left there, and somehow the keeper saved that, and he's not even moved, and then he gets the third opportunity. Um, but, yeah, we're in behind again, and he's... I, I don't know, I was trying to play that to Rodrigo, but, you know, the game, it's just the game. And this guy's got it back in. He's got a score, but I've moved Schmeichel, and it's a brilliant save. How has he still got it? How has he not scored? We're surviving here, lads. We're surviving. 
Is he going to get another chance? Yes, he is. We're going to have to cut that off. He's going to score, surely. He's got to score, but no. Great defending, and now we're off again. Bang. Can we get him behind? Yes, we can. Ansu. Ansu's still got it. He's played in Rodrigo. The keeper's going back. Oh, what am I going to do? Oh, he's chipped it. The keeper's practically on his line, and he's chipped it into the back of the net. What a goal. But we're still carrying on. This guy's now at a man sent off. Right, back on the attack here once again. Here we go. Is this guy going to score? I don't know. We're getting into the dying segments of the game, so I wouldn't be surprised if he scored a hat-trick now with a centre-back because it's me. I'm awful. Good challenge. Now we can come on the attack again. Teixeira to Lorente. Out to Bellerin. Bellerin, we're going to have to get up the pitch here. We can't just play to the attackers, and Bellerin's done a good job playing it up about 40 yards into Teixeira, who's played in Huang. Wang, not again, surely it's another chip from Wang, and it's a goal, Wang He chan he's a beast of those chip shots, Whoo! he's only two goals for the club, and he, they've both been chip shots, and we're on the attack again here, with Hector Bellerin, oh no, it's the exact same goal I think, oops, but yeah, that is a brilliant chip shot, and it is a brilliant goal, this guy was pushing for it, and, and we've made him pay with Wang He chan who might be my favourite super sub now, Oh, mate, I'm smiling just those are the three chip shots in this episode, guys. Which one is your favourite? Comment down below which one was your favourite. Um, the first Huang one, the Rodrigo one, or the second Huang one. And now we're on the attack here again with Ansu Fati. Lays it off to Teixeira, but I want that goal with Fati. So we're going to lay it off and we're going to score. Because as you'll see, Teixeira's already got a ridiculous record. But there we go. We won 5-2 against Quacked Up. Um, player ratings... Um, <laughs> Yeah, two goals for Fatty, one for Wang, and two for Rodrigo. And then in terms of assists, um, one for Rafinha, one for Hamez, and then just a couple of bits and bobs every now and then. But is this it? Is this the last bit of gameplay we have in this video? I don't know. It might be. It might be. But that game was just... So I was trying to look here for... Because Schmeichel made 10 saves. So I was trying to look to see if you could see blocks and stuff like that. Because I was just trying to look at blocks and stuff. Because I made some ridiculous blocks in that game. But yeah. Um, I am very happy with how I've played. Um, gone undefeated today in like five games. Which is absolutely amazing. Um, tomorrow we will probably struggle in our hour. But we can come back on Monday. If we win like a game on each day. That's another 1,400. And that will put us on like 6,000 daily point a weekly points and you needed seven thousand last week to get into rank three so we're gonna have to do a bit better than that hopefully we can go undefeated again tomorrow but all the sweats are in weekend league and we are so close we are literally one game away from uh foot champions can we do it and we are now on 1650 skill rating oh dear we are in trouble we are in so much trouble but yeah more points going into the bank let's go um but yeah as you can see now, we are messing about in the menu, so something is going to happen. And we are going into our squad, which must mean we're designing our new team. Bang! We are back. And as you can see, I've removed the players that I don't want anymore. And I've kept the players that I do want. But yeah, I looked at... Com I compared Lo Celso and Deli Ali, as you will see. And Lo Celso is actually better. Lo Celso's quicker. He's um, better at dribbling. Not as good at passing, shooting, or defending, or physicals, but, you know, he's just got four-star skills as well. And I just feel like, I don't know who's better, Deli Ali or Lo Celso. But Ali wins on um, shooting, uh, passing, Lo Celso, oh no, actually, Lo Celso wins on passing, dribbling, and pace. Whereas Ali wins on physical, defending, and shooting. And I feel like it's more important for me to have shooting, pace, and pass it, and uh, dribbling. As my cam, so I actually removed Deli Ali. Um, so yeah, we need to bring a new player into the CDM area that will fit because I want to go for a new little bit of defender. So I am actually going to pick up Donny van der Beek, who's only about 4k at the minute. I haven't bought him yet. I'm going to wait till rewards and all that. Probably going to play a bit of squad battles tomorrow as well uh, to try get that up, to try get the points for that up. And at right back, we're going to have to go with another strong link. So it is going to have to be Joao Cancelo, who only goes for about 6k now. He looks very good, other than his phys other than his strength. He looks really good, so maybe give him an anchor and he will be decent. But it is only a right back, so it doesn't really matter how strong they are. Um, but yeah, we are going to need a left wing. 
Um, I do want a five star skiller in the team so I can do use those five star skill moves. I haven't had one in the team yet. Obviously, with this new team, Ansu Fatty would be only on seven chemistry. But with everyone else that I'm going to put in the team, everyone else is on full chem. So that really, really makes me think. Ansu Fatty on seven chem should be fine. He'll still be meta. He'll still be good, hopefully. If not, I can change the team because Ansu is more important than any of these. But I was actually thinking maybe we get like Jao Felix or something. Because Jao Felix would work in that spot, but it wouldn't work on the in games because unless we use Deli Alley. Because then we could go with Jao Felix at Cam. We could then go for Deli Alley and Donny van der Bay, but then we need a CDM. So we'd probably gonna so we'd probably have to go with like Thomas Party. I don't know. Because it just wouldn't work with the in games because I want an out and out CDM. It just sits there all game and then I want like a centre mid near him who does the cutting passing lanes part as well. Um, and that I can close people down with. But yeah, Gulakshi, um, Rusilion is also going onto the bench. But yeah, we have our first little strong link there. Schultz, Klosterman and Gulakshi. Um, and then we are putting more triangles on the bench. So Rusilion, Theo Hernandez, he will be, if we want him, no, Lucas Hernandez. But if we want Lucas Hernandez into the team, he will also be on like, I don't know, it's like 8 chemistry, I think. It, when he gets loyalty um, and has a manager for him. But yeah, um, he is really good, so he probably wouldn't need full chemistry. And then Ariola to link everything in. The Fulham card, only about a 1,000 coins. Um, and we are going to put another strong link on the bench. There is a total of four. And that will include Red and Lodi, um, who go in there. He's a decent card, good defending and physical, very well balanced for a fullback. Um, Eder Militao, who is probably the most expensive dev player we have out of all the options. About 12k to buy him up front. And then last, but certainly not least, we have Neto. Neto is probably one of the weaker goalkeepers we have selected to go in. But he's not expensive, and he does get the chemistry. He looks okay. But yeah, and then um, the final trio is the cheapest trio, but the trio that I want the least. But it will be the budget trio. It is Hasene Kamara, who does currently have a screen card. If we do pack that, I will use it. And then we also have to link him up with Presnel Kimpembe and Big Steve Mandanda. By the way, guys, I will be watching over this just to make sure all the footage makes sense to me. Because I'm an idiot, and if it makes sense to me, it should make sense to you. Um, but yeah, Big Steve Mandanda, there we go. Um, Steve goes into the side, but the cheapest option there is the Kimpembe Kamara Mandanda option. That's about 6k. Um, Neto, Militao, Lodi is about 15k. Hernandez, Rusilion and Ariola is about, I want to say about 10k. And then Klosterman, Gulakshi and um, Schultz isn't, expense, isn't as expensive as the La Liga trio. But it is about, I want to say 15k. Because Klosterman's about 9, Gulakshi is about 6 and then Schultz is about 2. But Militao's 12 and stuff like that. It's... I did also have a piece of paper somewhere, but I think I've left it downstairs um, with what I rated them out of. So, um, I did give them a rating out of 10, and then I added the ratings up out of 30 to see which trio I prefer most. And it actually turned out that the Bundesliga trio that is in the team now looks like the best trio, followed by the Liga trio, then the off-chem uh, Lucas Hernandez trio, then the PS, then the uh, League on trio last. But yes, now we can finally look at records and Ansu Fati... 18 games, 36 goals, 14 assists, 50 goal contributions in 18 games. Absolute legend. Rodrigo, 35 games, 20 goals and like 20 assists, I think that was. Uh, 35 games and like Hamez hasn't been doing too good. One goal, four assists. Um, but yeah, as you can see straight away, I swap him out. I'm like, I'm not happy with that. I prefer Dali Ali, Ali anyway. He's quicker. He's more physical. Um, looks to be a pretty decent CDM. Um, if you wanted to use him there as like your attacking CDM in a four two three one, but I did give the four four two a little bit of a run, and I'd like to give you guys the four four two option for this team. So Rodrigo and Fatty up front, Carrasco on the left, Lorente at centre mid. But if I wanted to change it, um, I would have to go with the Le La Liga defense and then go with Thomas Party there. Um, other centre mid would probably be Giovanni Lo Celso or Deli Ali, and on the right would be Rafinha. Um, more than likely would be Donny Van... No, Donny Van der Beek would be the other centre-mid. Um, the centre-backs would be Ake, and then Klosterman, 
And then Schultz at left back and at right back would be Cancelo and in goal would be Gulaxi. Unless we wanted to swap out Lorente and go with Thomas Partey. Um, as the CDM, then we'd have to go with Militao, Lodi and um, in goal, we'd have to go with Neto. And guys, that 4 four triple two option, as you can see guys, we went off Rocket League and came back and we won. But yeah, as you could, but yeah that 4 triple two option, I could put Partey at CDM and I could put Felix at Cam. As long as I go with that La Liga defence... But I really want to give that Bundesliga defense a try. Klosterman looks sick. But yeah, guys, we are, are getting, but we are getting towards the end of this video now. I will probably, I, I am going to take some screenshots of some possible team options. And as you can see, guys, we are qualified four foot champions. Oof. Do we do it? Don't we do it? It's going to be really tough. But yeah, that guy's skill rating was sixteen eighty. And guys, we had one win away from Div two. We're going to be back in the big times if we win another game. And we are now on 4,300 points as well. You know what? I'm happy with that. So, yeah, guys. Great way to end off the video. Thank you all for watching. Um, I'll hopefully see you in the next episode. But I think we do give a check on Thomas Party's price. I'm not sure, though. But I was actually thinking, who do we buy? We could buy someone right now, but none of them make sense because, you know, I can afford them all. But none of them make sense in the team at this very moment in time. So I'd have to wait till I add the cumulative amount of coins. But yeah, guys, thank you for watching this video. I'll see you guys in the next video. As you can, as I'll say again, chip shots for days. Take no L's. As you can see, still on 17 losses. Um, we are now up to 24 wins from 18. So we won four games, I want to say. Um, lost none, drew none, I think. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you all next time, um, where we will probably be playing more rivals. I like to punish myself. But yeah, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. But look at these rewards. If I did get this rank, rank free, I do want to take coins to get my new defense. But the packs are just so tempting, especially with the new screen promo.